Time for tonight's episode of Every Vote Counts. You always hear that when people are trying to get you to go out and vote. Every vote counts. But in a country with millions of voters, it's, it's hard to feel that every vote counts. And in the big states, it's hard to feel that every vote counts. But somewhere on your ballot, even in the big states, you can find the spot where every vote counts, especially when you get down to the state legislatures. And tonight, we have the astonishing story of one vote. One vote changing the outcome of a legislative election in the state of Virginia, and that one vote has changed the balance of power in the legislature. Election day in Virginia was November 7th, and Republican member of the House of Delegates, David Yancey, came out ahead of his Democratic challenger by exactly 10 votes. David Yancey got 11,601 votes, and Democratic challenger Shelley Simons got 11,591 votes. She Shelley Simons requested a recount, and today the results of the recount became official. Republican David Yancey ended up with 11,607 votes, and Democratic challenger Shelley Simons ended up with 11,608 votes. A one vote margin. 23,215 people cast their votes in that election, and every single vote counted. If just one of Shelley Simon's voters stayed home or got stuck in traffic and gave up, then we'd have a different outcome tonight. The Republicans have now lost their majority in the state House of Delegates, and so that one vote has changed everything in the Virginia House of Delegates. The Republican leaders in the Virginia House of Delegates do not have the power today that they had yesterday, all thanks to that one vote. The power of one elected Shelley Simons and has changed everything in the Virginia House of Delegates. Shelley Simons joins us next. On election night last month, Virginia made history by electing the state's first transgender member of the state legislature, Danica Rome. But the election didn't end on election night in Virginia on November 7th because some close races that triggered a recount. One of those races was decided today by exactly one vote. And the winner of that election to the Virginia House of Delegates, Shelley Simons, joins us now. Thank you very much for joining us. That one vote has ha had an enormous power. You have shifted the balance of power in the state le legislature. So now, as I understand that, it, it is a tie of uh, Republicans and Democrats in the House. Shelley, can you hear me? I can hear okay. you now. Shelley, is it, is, it a, is, is it now a tie between Democrats and Republicans in the House? Yes, I believe we're going to be going into a power-sharing arrangement. And so that means that the Republican leaders of the legislature no longer have that power that they had yesterday, really, where they could just decide what that body was going to do. Yes. Uh, what a difference a day makes in Virginia. And the, you had run before in 2015, um, and you were beaten by about 2,000 votes at that time. But the vote count was much lower, a turnout of about 14,000 uh, this time your turnout was 23,000. It seems like turnout made the difference. It really did make the difference. Uh, last time I ran, it felt like we had a party and nobody showed up. This time, everybody came out to vote and we, we really rocked it. And it's because of the voters and their participation made all the difference. And you didn't even get started in this race until August, which I find shockingly late, especially for what <laughs> is a come from behind win. Uh, did it feel as you were getting close uh, to the to election day just how close this race was? Yes, I could definitely feel it on the ground, how close it was. But you know, we had we had a lot of groups from um, not even just Virginia, outside Virginia, really involved this time. So it felt very different than 2015. And uh, w w when will uh, we get the final makeup of the Virginia legislature? Are there more recounts underway now? Yes, um, there are a few recounts happening. I, I know that um, we have one tomorrow. And also there is the Joshua Cole recount, which um, may actually go to federal court.
Uh, we'll be following it all. Shelly Simons uh, has learned the lesson of the power of one. You're going to be the story we're telling for a very long time about how your vote counts. Shelly Simons, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it.